Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to use Gemini Life AI Assistant on the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Let's begin! First, there are a couple of things we need to change first. The very first one is a simple shortcut in which you activate your Google Geminis. By default, it's power button, but if your Google Assistant does not activate on power button, this is how you can easily change that. First, you want to go into the settings, and inside settings, you want to scroll almost all the way down. Then, you want to head into advanced features, side button, and as you can see here, you have a nice shortcut for a long press. You can switch from Bixby, but in this tutorial, we'll cover specifically Digital Assistant from Google. Now, this is not everything. You want to navigate into Google, switch from Recommended to All Services, and you want to keep scrolling until you will see Search, Assistant and Voice. You want to click it. Then you want to scroll down a little and head into Gemini tab. And you want to make sure that your interrupt live responses is checked. This way you can have a nice live AI assistant. And this should be it. Now we can go and we can choose something cool. For example, we can go to our gallery and for example, let's do this. Of course, you probably would recognize this as a popcat, but will the AI recognize it? Let's, well, I don't know, let's find out. We can press and hold onto the power icon to activate our Gemini, and then a little prompt should appear. With that, we should be able to click ask about the image, and this will automatically take a screenshot of our image, and the Google Assistant will be able to actually describe it. So let's try it out. What's on my screen? Well, as you can see, we are not exactly doing anything, since we have to first click the mic icon. But of course, if you want to, you can also manually type that in. What's on my screen? And now we'll see an answer. Or actually... Based on the image you've uploaded, you have a picture of a cat on your screen. The cat is a popular internet meme known as Popcat. It's a close-up shot, and the cat has a funny, surprised expression with its mouth open in a little O shape. Amazing! That's looking pretty good. Now, what's really cool about this is you don't really have to be about the gallery only. You can always use it via your camera. Not directly, that's at least not... I don't think you can use it directly on your camera but you can do a screenshot of it automatically. So, for example, I can do this. So this is the logo, you can hear it, you can see it right here. I will also press and hold the power button and I will ask him to describe what's currently on my screen. What's currently on my screen? I'm sorry, I can't see your screen. I am a large language model, not a visual assistant. Now, this is a lie. Let's do it one more time, but this time we'll actually enable something very important. Well, let's actually do a new turn. And... Hi, I'm Gemini. We're about to go live, where you can explore complex topics or ideas just by talking. But before we get started, take a quick look at this important information. Yeah, so this is the live Gemini. The one I showed you before is just a typical normal Gemini. But this is something that actually will you will be able to tag with dynamically and it will automatically and dynamically scan your screen because the previous one only had this ability once you've provided him a screenshot. So we'll hit OK. And now we can share entire screen and only entire screen, you don't really have the ability to share something else. Okay, I understand. So you're looking for a way to share something other than your entire screen. <laughs> Is that right? Stop. Thank you. So, activating uh, Google AI Gemini is pretty interesting because you technically just press and hold and then share screen of life. This will change the Gemini mode from the assistant to an actual AI assistant that sees what you're currently seeing. 
So I will now stop talking to you, like the viewers, and I will try to talk to the Gemini to demonstrate how it works. Can share screen. What's currently on my screen? What am I looking at? Okay, I see a green stylized power button. It's the kind of icon you might find on a computer or other electronic device. What would you like to know about it? Is it an icon of like a popular YouTube channel perhaps? Can you search a web for it? I couldn't find a popular YouTube channel with that exact icon. It looks more like a generic power button symbol. Did you have a specific channel in mind? Yes, but I'm actually testing you right now because I work for the channel and I'm currently recording a video on you. And I'm curious to know if you can spot this exact pattern and actually search for it through web because we do have a YouTube channel with that exact logo. Okay, I understand. I'm still learning to recognize specific logos, but I'm glad you're testing me. Perhaps in the future, I'll be able to identify it. Well, that's sad. Anyway, the channel I was talking about is called Hard Reset Info. Can you tell me something more about them? I couldn't find a YouTube channel called Hydroset Info, but I did find information on a medical product called Hydroset. It's a bone substitute used in surgeries. Is that what you were looking for? Or should I keep searching for the YouTube channel? No, I meant a YouTube channel named Hard Reset Info. Ah, Hard Reset Info. They're a pretty popular YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. They focus on tech tutorials, right? Do you have any specific questions about their content or what they do? Hmm, should you tell my viewers that they should totally subscribe? Absolutely. Viewers, if you're into tech and gadgets, you should definitely subscribe to Hard Reset Info. They have tons of helpful videos on everything from smartphones to smart home devices. Yeah, that was pretty smart. Anyway, you can stop now. Okay, I'll stop now. Do you need anything else? No, you can, like, turn yourself off. Okay, I'll turn off now. He did not turn off. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm ready to help. What can I do for you? Stop. Yes, so uh, the command for actually stopping the Gemini AI and you will see that it's actually on hold. I guess that if I will talk like a pause or whatever or on pause, um, it will activate him once again. But as you could see, this is how you can basically use it. It will like remember your conversation. You can have a nice conversation about it. You can ask him or actually he will ask you if you want to know more information about specific topics. Technically, he should be able to recognize some things. For example, if you would show him an image of like a very popular old museum or something, he technically should recognize it. Though my heart is in, sh in shattered because it didn't recognize the hard reset info channel. It's really sad. But hey, he did tell you to subscribe to our channel. And to be honest, that's all for this video. I hope that now you can successfully use this nice function with Live AI Assistant because I do think that it has a potential to be very useful in the future. But anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.